Hi, my name is Phil Ebner, and in this video, I'm going to give you a free preview of a lesson from my WordPress for Beginners course on Udemy.com. In this lesson, I'll show you how to actually write a blog post and organize your blog on your WordPress website. Now we have a live website, and in this lesson, I want to teach you how to create blog articles. So here, I'm going to show you how to create your blog page so that it looks like this with the blog posts, and then we're going to create a separate blog post to add to our website that looks something like this. So you can see here we have this header image, we have the title, we have different types of text, and we have images, including a quote a block quote, which is what this looks like right here, and basically some text and some images. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to posts and let's view all posts. The first thing we're going to do is just edit or actually delete this hello world blog post. So to edit or delete any individual or even do a bulk edit, you can check the blog post here. Then up here under bulk actions, you can say move to trash. Or if it's just an individual one, you can click this trash button right here. So that deletes it. So now if we refresh and go to our blog, we won't see that sample post. So to add a new blog post, we can go to this add new button right here under posts, or just go to the new button up here and click post. Now let's type in our blog title. So what we'll do is a bathroom ladder. This is the new project that I'm working on. So you see this permalink right here? It's set up as ebonerdesigns.com slash, and then it takes the title that we input right here, and it creates this URL. For a lot of you, depending on what WordPress site or theme you have installed, it's not going to be the title. It's going to be either the date or the page number or the blog number. And to change how this is set up, we have to change our permalink settings. So go to settings and then permalinks, and that will take you to the permalinks page. You have common settings that you can use such as plain, which is just when you create a new page or a new blog article, it's going to be ebonerdesigns.com slash question mark P and then each page has an actual ID number. Or you can do the day and the name. So if you want to include the day or even just the month, you can do that. Or numeric, if you just want to have a numeric archive with each page or each blog post being a certain number. But I suggest using post name because this is going to be keyword friendly for SEO purposes because your blog title will help get more search traffic if it's in the URL itself. So switch it to post name right here. So that's about permalinks. Now let's add some content to our blog article. First, let's add some media, let's add a new image. So we already uploaded our bathroom ladder, so you can either upload it if you haven't done so already, or you can just select it and say insert into post. So let's just see what our other blog post looks like because I like to have them look kind of similar. This information right here, the title of the blog post, the date, the author, the tags, this stuff is all set up automatically. So that's not things we add. It's just based off of when we actually post and who the author is. The information below though is stuff that we actually type in. So you can see if I just go here and type in some words, this is a bathroom ladder. That's going to appear in our blog post, just like how we created a page. If we also want to add a header, we can do that by selecting our text and changing the paragraph style to heading. Now I'm gonna be going over a few tips and advice for using the different headings in a follow-up lesson, so be sure to check that out because using your heading is great for both readability but also SEO purposes. So search engines actually see which words are in your headings and use it to make your posts appear in search. So if we want to add a list of supplies, we can just click the bulleted list and add your supplies. Now I don't have the exact list of supplies right now, but I can just make a short list. And so if we preview this, it's going to open up our blog post in a new tab and we can see what it looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But 
say we want that big header image right here like this, because now let's just go ahead and publish this post. If we want, we can set the publish date for a future time by clicking publish immediately and then click this edit button and then setting the date and time that you want to publish it. This is great for pre-writing a bunch of content that is scheduled out, or you can publish it immediately by clicking publish. Now I wanted to do that just because I wanted to show you now when I click on the blog page, what it looks like. We have the blog title, but there's no image. That image comes from our featured image, which right now is down here in the bottom right. So if we click featured image, and now we would want to set an image as our featured image, you can click there and then say set as featured image. It's probably a good idea to have multiple images and not use the same exact image that's in your blog post as your featured image because it gets a little repetitive. So now if I update that and then I refresh the blog page, that image becomes the featured image and you can see that it crops it to this aspect ratio. And now if I go to my blog page, we have the featured image appear on top of the blog title. And if people want to click the bathroom ladder or the read more page, it goes to this blog article. If we want our image to be on the right side like this, we can just go back to our image, select it and then say right align. Let's make it a little bit smaller, something like this. And then let's click and drag. And as I click and drag, I can see where the cursor appears on the left hand side. And we'll just put it right next to the supplies list. So if we preview changes, you can see now that it's on the right side of the supplies list. Now I would go through, add more content, add more images, but now you know how to write and create new posts. One good thing to know is the featured image. The other is with categories. So categories are how you organize your different blog articles. So for this article, I would categorize it as DIY and then probably a new category for bathroom. It's okay to post your blogs in multiple categories. So to add that new category, you just click the add new category, type it out and then click add new category. So now the reason why we do this is because in the future there's plugins where you can actually create a blog list such as on this blog page or even right here on the right side of these categories that only show certain blog articles for a tag. So let me show you how that works right now on my own site, videoschoolonline.com. You can see here that I have recent articles and podcasts. These are all blog articles that are showing up and these are all chronological order. So the latest one, whether it's a podcast or just a regular article, no matter what category it's in, appears here. But if I go to my podcast page, only the podcast articles appear because I said on this page to only show articles that are in the podcast category. In the blog page, what I did was I actually excluded the podcast category. So that is how you can use different categories for your articles. Another thing is say I click on one of these articles and it depends on the theme that you're using, but you can show related posts down below. And the related posts have to do with the categories. So it's not going to show podcasts in this related post because this post is about video production, but it will show the other posts related to video production down here. So it's really a good idea to organize your blog articles into different categories. In terms of tags, these are tags that search engines will look for and will use to make sure that your articles show up and search for those specific keywords. So for this article, I would probably type in DIY, woodworking, project, bath, room, ladder, towel, different words that have to do with this bathroom ladder, and then just click add. But that's basically how you edit your own blog post. Make sure that you update it when you are completely done. And like I said earlier in an upcoming lesson, I'm going to explaining how to use headings in the proper way. Thanks for watching. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is just a free preview lecture of my WordPress for Beginners course. The entire course has hours of content and premium support if you ever get stuck. So I'd love to have you inside that course and you can enroll now for just 15 bucks. Click on the link below and we'll see you in class.